there's a huge morale actually. We pass in our tour. And this morale talks about uh, in diversity, unity. And talks about the diversity here in Jordan. Because Jordan being a very welcoming country for refugees, so there is a lot of refugees. Uh, you can say the population in Jordan is 10 million people. Uh, there is about 5 million Palestinians or with Palestinian roots. I'm one of them. I'm a Palestinian refugee. My name is Ala Eddin. I'm the one who tells the stories about the street art here in Amman. He's a b-boy. Yeah. And so, and grew up in hip hop, was part of the kind of founding fathers of hip hop here in Amman. And he's an awesome storyteller. There is Libyans, Sudanese, Yemenis, so many nationalities here. And also we have different styles. So there is the conservative people, you can say, with hijab, with ishmaq, all of these traditional things. But also there is the hip hop <laughs> and youth and all different styles. Hip hop culture had really unique way of letting young guys expressing themselves because when we grow up here it was really difficult also in 2004 it was after the iraqi war we find uh, hip-hop as a gate to escape from this political situations and to have a talent or something to do with our time The first day I arrived here, my taxi driver who took me from 8th Circle to downtown where my hostel was, was just like, hey, come sit in the front seat, I'll give you a tour of downtown. Like, and that's basically been the theme of the last two years. Like, hey, I'll just drop everything so that you feel comfortable and so that you know how to, you know, do life in a month. You can say the people, but it's they're very helpful. They're very pure. They're very simple. The city, like how it looks, is also amazing. It's still has this old uh, buildings. If you walk around Amman, and also the hills, I love Amman. I love Jordan. I love this country. Mm -hmm.